I was diagnosed in 2015. About 10 years ago. About a year and a half ago. With Parkinson's. Your body's telling you this. I had seen a program on TV by Leslie Stahl about Rocksteady and the benefits of boxing for Parkinson's. Well, for me, I started immediately in trying to find a boxing gym in our area. So here we go. Watch what I'm doing, guys. Pay attention to this one. I knew that Kent Ward step, was a generous man step, and actually step, had step, programs step, for young step, kids. Step, step, just like that. So I knew he was a man with a soul. <laughs> A really good soul. Nice Feel job. Your balance, huh? So I contacted him. I'm to see you have good balance before I, I book you a fight in Madison Square Garden. You know, I've been working with kids sure for years, and um, I said, you know, let me. Maybe this is something else. I, maybe we can really do some some real good in using this sport that has been criticized for years as a as a dangerous sport, and now it kind of came full circle, and you have an opportunity to use the sport for something really good. A lot of people feel that when they hear their diagnosis of Parkinson's, they know it's a part of the brain that is dying off due to the disease process. The neurons that transmit the muscle uh, movement, those cells are dying off. What they found with exercise, there are new neural pathways that are taking over. You're getting the benefit of almost like a runner's high. A little water, we're going to blow up now. Some of the movement that they have now is really dictated by their affliction. So rather than just give in to that movement, we want to try to have the brain as an active participant in this, saying that we don't want this anymore. As Ken tells us, you, you have to control your brain, not your brain control you. One, two, one, two, one more. We have to be mentally really pushing ourselves. You're working with your brain to move out of what is being dictated to you. You ready, set up? Talk to my neurologist, I let her know exactly what I do, and she actually has said to me that the reason my disease process doesn't progress as quickly is because I'm, I'm doing it five days a week. When I, people ask me, you know, what do I do? I say, be active. I don't care if it's swimming, dancing. Be active, be proactive. Good stuff, child. I'm steadier on my feet than I used to be. I have a little more endurance than I had when, when I was first diagnosed. Coming here twice a week really uh, gives me an, and it's some inspiration too, seeing some of the other folks and how well they're coping. Boxing is so important to get that mental aspect. The physical you can do, but the mental, not getting down on yourself. You, know, you, got, you have to get positive. Bring the heat. Oh. We can make them take that extra step, not give in, not go up against the wall and just stand there and say, I can't do it. It gives you the feeling that you're not hopeless. You've got hope. You know that you're fighting back, you see improvement, and you say, you know, this isn't so bad.